what's going on everyone? I'm going to give you a quick update for those who follow me on Instagram. I did take down that post of where I showed my hand. It was badly burnt by vegetable oil. Now here's what happened. I had heavy whipping cream and butter in this one. I had the potatoes going on in this one and I had the oil going on this one for the chicken. So long story short, I had the potatoes done. So I turned that off. My hand was on the handle still on the oil. But then when I turned that off, I was peeking over at the heavy whipping cream and butter just to keep an eye on it. I pulled the lid off while I was looking and some of the oil from the lid dripped onto the burner. A big old flame shot up and it scared me. So, you know, reflexes kicked in. I jerked back with my hand on the handle still and all that boiling hot oil splashed all on my hands. So, if any little kids are watching or anything like that, and Renata, if Landry's watching, that was the main reason why I took the post down. I didn't want her seeing it. So, turn her away so she don't see this. Here comes the first picture in three, two, one. Here's what it looked like after I burnt myself. And I went to the, first I went to urgent care. They sent me to the ER because they said it's better to go to the ER. Got the tetanus shot. And man, they called me a lightweight because I was supposed to go to the burn clinic after the ER, but I was getting sick to my stomach. I think it was called fentanyl. They I don't know. I don't do drugs. I don't drink alcohol. I don't do nothing. I don't smoke and do anything. I was getting dizzy. I was about to puke. I was actually pretty good. I wasn't in much pain at all. But as soon as they pumped me full of that, I'm pretty sure it was fentanyl, I started feeling sick, nauseous, lightheaded, getting dizzy. And, oh, I was so, like, my, I was just, like, about to puke. That's the best way I could describe it. So, I went and took a nap, then went to OSU Medical Center because the burn clinic is there. They looked at it, everything seemed good. They just took the extra skin off. So here's what that one looks like. So once again, if there's any little kids watching, this looks pretty gross. Three, two, one. Here's what that looks like after they took all the extra skin off. And when that came off, I was relieved. Like it just felt good because the skin was already tightening and cutting off my circulation. But like I said, I couldn't go straight there after the ER. I was feeling so sick. And sorry for the noise my furnace kicked on. So, moral of the story, you're going to see a couple videos on every Monday like always. And I won't have this on because I got done filming those before this happened. And hopefully I'll be healed in time after those are done. Hopefully this will be off. But overall, be careful on what you do. Accidents can happen, as you've seen. It sucks, and I don't want this to happen to anybody. That shows right there, no matter how careful you, careful you are, or even it could take a slight mix-up like me, where I kept my eyes on something else, something quick can happen like that. I'm just thankful that I'm in good health still. My uh, blood pressure was high, of course, the day it happened, but the next day when I went to the burn clinic, it was back down to normal, and it was perfect. Um... You know, I'm able to walk. I didn't burn nothing down, so I'm thankful for that. Except for the floor, where I got burned, I accidentally dropped the pan, and the ground's a little orange, so I can get some tiles to cover that up. So, yeah, that's what's going on. So, I just wanted to say thank you once again, everyone on Instagram who was thinking about me and put me in their prayers. Thank you for that. But, you know, that's the reason why I had to take it down. I didn't want no little kids seeing, so that way, I hope they don't see this. That's why I was giving heads up in the countdown. Sorry for the rambling. I just wanted to give you all an update, let you know I'm okay. Except for my arm. My arm is like sore as heck from that shot, from that tetanus shot. I don't know why. It's good, though. There's nothing there, but it's very sore. But anyway, I'm going to shut up now. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll check you later.